I don't have to go over. That's great. This time I did it yesterday. But to show guys some gratitude, I am so grateful. I am grateful to see another year. Allow him to um bless me with another chapter in my life from new beginnings. Um, I'm grateful for everything he's done. I'm grateful for, for things like sand and the water. You know, I'm grateful for air. I'm grateful for the small things. Things we take for granted every day. But anyway, my message today is always operate in gratitude. We have so much to be thankful for. And we spend more time complaining about what we don't have than we do appreciating and thanking God for what we do have. You know, the enemy has a strategic and a funny way of maximizing the don'ts. You know, we have so many do's. So I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys to make sure that every day you wake up above ground, that you give God thanks. Thank him for waking you up this morning. Opening your two eyes is two of the biggest blessings that you have each day. Because a lot of people not here to say that they did that, you know. And then on top of that, thank God for allowing you to have a home away from opinion. Or allowing you to have food to, to eat or clothes on your back. Or even if you don't like your job, just thank him for allowing you to have a job that's right now paying for your bills and for your expenses. You know what I'm saying? So we we definitely have to operate in gratitude. We have to thank God for the people that he's blessed us with. You know, God have connected some of us with some awesome godly people and some of us appreciate them and some of us take them for granted but you have to even appreciate the godly people that he's placed in your life you know get them their flowers while they're here let them know that you appreciate them be there for them when you need them when they need you just as well as them being there for you when you need them and gratitude takes us a long way and that's why I think that the enemy gives us a, a spirit of complaining a lot because he knows that once you start operating in gratitude, gratitude is equivalent to attraction. And the more grateful you are, the more, the more great things you attract. The, the more you complain, the more negative things come your way. So once you understand that concept and once you start changing the way you think and you look at things, you start operating in the spirit of gratitude, then you start seeing the positive changes. And then it's like when I start praying or when I start talking to them, the waves start getting bigger and stronger. And to me, I take that as a sign that he hears my prayers and he's moving on my behalf. Or he's confirming that which I'm saying. So I pray that this message has blessed you guys on today. I pray that you start operating in a spirit of gratitude. I hope that you start thanking God every day. But not just the major blessings that he do in your life. But for the good, the big ones, the small ones, the good ones, and the bad ones. Because in all things, there's something to be grateful for. If you guys have any prayer requests, please email me your prayer requests. I will intercede on your behalf. I'm standing the gap for you. If you if you guys would like to sow into the ministry or into any of the words that I have released to you guys, that information is listed in the description box as well. And as I always say, you guys be blessed and a blessing.